In this video, I'm going to teach you how to hold your baritone with forward-facing valves. What is a baritone with forward-facing valves? Simply put, if your baritone has valves that point away from you when you play, that's a baritone with forward-facing valves. If you have a baritone whose valves point up towards the ceiling, that's a baritone with top-facing valves. They both sound the same, but you have to hold them differently. Now, let's get into how to hold your baritone with forward-facing valves. Before I grab my baritone and show you how to hold it, we should talk about sitting with good playing posture. Good playing posture ensures that we play with the best sound and can move freely on our instrument. Now, first thing you wanna do is make sure that you sit forward on your chair on the edge of your seat. You don't wanna be sitting on the back of the chair, leaning in the back, you wanna be sitting forward on the edge of your seat. Next, you wanna make sure you're sitting tall. You don't wanna slouch over it, you wanna sit tall. You wanna make sure you have relaxed shoulders. You don't want to have tense shoulders. You never want to play with tension. You always want to have relaxed shoulders, okay? So we sit tall, we have relaxed shoulders. Next, you want to make sure that you're sitting with a proud chest, a forward proud chest. You don't want to sit with a curled in chest. You want to sit with a forward proud chest. This means that we can take in a lot of air and use that air to the best of our ability. Last, you want to make sure that your feet are flat on the floor in front of you. So not with a foot on the chair in front of you, not with a foot curled under the chair, not with a foot curled under you. You want them both in front of you, flat on the floor. So, good posture means forward on our chair, sitting tall, relaxed shoulders, proud chest, and feet out in front of us, flat. Now that we know how to sit with good playing posture, let's learn how to hold our baritones. First things first, Remember this, your left hand is your holding hand, your right hand is your playing hand. Again, your left hand is your holding hand, so this is the hand that's gonna hold the baritone, and your right hand is the playing hand, which means this is the hand that is going to move the valves that change the pitches of the baritone. So, I've got my baritone right here. You can see that my baritone is forward-facing valves, meaning they're pointing away from me. I'm gonna put it on my right thigh. I'm gonna grab my left hand, and I'm going to come and grab the tube that is closest to my left hand. So I'm not reaching across. I'm just grabbing the tube that is closest. I can either grab it here or I can grab it here. Now, my right hand is going to come under the mouthpiece across the baritone. I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna put my thumb in the thumb ring. You may have a thumb ring. You may have a uh, thumb hook. Uh, but in this case, I have a thumb ring. My thumb, right thumb is gonna go in the thumb ring. My pointer finger is going to hover over the first valve. My middle finger is going to hover over the second valve. My ring finger is gonna hover over the third valve. And my uh, pinky is going to sit on the third valve casing. Now, it's very important to remember that you wanna keep your hands curled like a bear claw, okay? And you wanna make sure that you are resting and pressing the valves with the padded parts of your fingers. You don't wanna be in the middle of your, like in the knuckle or flat fingered. You wanna make sure that you are moving freely with your bear claw. So again, right hand comes across, thumb goes in the thumb ring, pointer finger goes on first valve, I'm using the pad to press. My middle finger goes on the third, second valve. My ring finger goes on the third valve. My pinky is going to sit on the third valve casing. And then I'm going to bring the baritone against my body and up. If I'm doing this correctly, you'll notice that the baritone is at a slight angle. That's fine. The most important thing to remember is that you wanna make sure that the baritone comes to you. If I'm sitting with my good posture, my good playing posture, I'm not going to be able to go and go down to it. The baritone always should come to you. So, hold the, grab, the, hold, grab the baritone with the left, come around, get your fingers in position, against your body, and up.